Hi and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today I am going to talk to you about Cinnamon, Spice Vanilla, and Paris Cafe, the three wick. First I want to say thank you to all my views and all my new subscribers and if you haven't already, the subscription button is right down there below if you wanted to hit it. So this is an interesting candle. Just to give you a heads up, I am a little bit tired. My dog woke me up at one o'clock this morning. I'm on vacation and I thought I'd be able to sleep past four. I was sadly mistaken. So <laughs> if there's a lot of edits to this video, you know why. Um, I'm feeling a little loopy at this point. The notes on this candle, let's get into this. Let's stop talking about how tired Kathy is. Uh, the notes on this are rich roasted coffee, vanilla cream, ground cinnamon, and sugar crystals. This is an interesting candle and I'll tell you why. When I smelled this in the store, it was really, really massively strong like Paris Cafe was. Paris Cafe is like 10 out of 10, one of the strongest candles I've ever had. And when I first burned this, I burned it in the living room because I started naming options and my husband and my daughter both yelled out like the cinnamon Paris Cafe one. And that's because they know how much I love coffee. So it was terrific. You could smell it all over the house. It was a nice blend of both. It was absolutely delicious. And this morning for my coffee and candles shorts, I was burning this and I couldn't smell it with the life of me. And I, I, I mean, a little bit, tiny bit, but in comparison to how it was blowing us away in the living room. And I'm thinking I might be crazy. I might've been tired. Um, maybe there's something going on with my nose because I've had that suspect the past couple of days that I have maybe a cold. It's not like a, not like it was with COVID, but I've been feeling a little off. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out this mystery. First burn was nice cinnamon coffee floating all around the house. I have my notebook again. The throw is about an eight of a 10. I've had no issues with this, with it burning. It was actually a nice, really relaxing experience. The first burn on this one was the second burn. I wasn't uptight about it or anything, but I was just, it didn't smell right to me, but I think also it might be me. So it wasn't nearly as strong as I was experiencing on Sunday night. So I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I have had no issues. There's been no sit. There's been a little bit of mushrooming after burning, which isn't bad. This burned for probably about like three hours this morning since I was up so I am early. But this is a really nice candle. And I just, I don't want to be dishonest about it. The first burn was wonderful. And then this morning was questionable, but it might've been my nose. This is a nice candle and I do like it. I do have more of it coming. And I also have some wallflowers of these coming too. So I'm kind of excited about that because the wallflower experience is always a little bit different. A lot of people don't like wallflowers because they are not as strong, but it might be something kind of nice just to have in the kitchen area. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. But for this candle, I think that this is it. And hopefully this afternoon or tomorrow or towards the end of the week, I will have the rest of my haul from the beginning of the SAS sale online. My other stuff from the one item that they sent me when I had like 30 items, that has finally shipped. The rest of the items have. And I have a couple orders, other orders that ship too. I am planning to do some reviews on some of the body care that I got when I was in store, even though it's not brand new stuff, it's new to me because I haven't worn it before. So I do want to give my opinions on those because I know that they're about to release fall stuff. So before you know it, probably around like September ish, we're going to see Christmas. I guarantee you. Um, well, I can't guarantee you guarantee you, but you see where I'm, where it's heading. If at the end of the July, they have Halloween out, we're going to have Christmas before you know it. So I might be able to help with a little bit of options for that. And I also want to try everything out. I mean, who doesn't go shopping? I want to try everything when they get home. So I'm going to be having some reviews for those as well as some of the new stuff coming up as soon as I get the rest of my packages. But until tomorrow, I'll talk to you later. Bye.